81-year-old Fred Jackson's taking up the fight for his late wife, Julie. They both ended up in hospital with COVID after that ill-fated Ruby Princess cruise. Fred doesn't want money, he just wants the cruise line to take responsibility for what happened. I just, just thinking of it, that's just got me. These things happen to me, I just, they come. Fred Jackson is the face of human tragedy in the wake of the Ruby Princess scandal. I've lost... <laughs> time together, <laughs> which we were enjoyed. I've lost all that because of bloody stupid people <laughs> and they're greedy people. Fred and Julie Jackson were keen cruisers. Both ended up in hospital with COVID after the now notorious Ruby Princess cruise to New Zealand in March 2020. Julie and I love cruising. Julie died in May this year from an unrelated disease. Fred says that doctors told him that COVID shortened her life. She deteriorated and the specialists that we, we were visiting, the COVID specialists, they just uh, said, well, I'm sorry, but uh, Julie's life. <laughs> 18 months or two years, her life has been reduced. The ex-customs officer believes the cruise with more than 2,000 passengers on board should have been cancelled. That cruise should not have gone ahead. In my mind, it was greed, it was all money money, 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 we're not going to stop this cruise, we're going to lose too many millions of dollars. The former first grade rugby league player is part of a massive class action now being played out in the courts. I'm not looking for money, I'm just looking that, that the shipping company takes more responsibility and accepts that things can go wrong and they shouldn't be greedy. The class action against Ruby Princess's owners and operators, Princess Cruises and Carnival Australia, began in the federal court in Sydney today. The crux of the claim is that Carnival and Princess allegedly breached the Australian consumer law and breached its duty to the passengers. Shine lawyer Vicky Ancelatos. The class action represents all passengers that were on the cruise. Shine senior counsel Ian Pike told the court the Ruby Princess cruise should have been cancelled after other Princess cruise ships, the Diamond Princess and the Grand Princess, had COVID-19 outbreaks not long before. It was not a safe and pleasurable cruise, as was the agreed purpose. What occurred at the end of the voyage is not some accident. It was very likely to happen. This boat never should have sailed and it was negligent to do so. Carnival's David McClure SC told the court the legal definition of duty of care is at the heart of the case. He said on the date the Ruby Princess left Sydney Harbour, there was no requirement of the Australian government for cancellation of occasions where people would congregate. The hearing was told that no senior cruise line executives or staff including the ship's captain and senior physician, will be called to explain. The class action is expected to last four weeks, but could be extended into early next year. Fred Jackson just wants the world to know his story and hear what he says the holiday on the Ruby Princess did to his life. They just wanted the money and they didn't care about people. So she'd be here today only for the COVID that she caught from the Ruby Princess.